Hello. Today I'm coming at you with two beef jerky subscriptions that I subscribed to probably past midnight last week and they both arrived. Why I subscribed to two different beef jerky subscriptions? Okay, here's the backstory. First of all, I really like beef jerky. I don't know. I had never eaten it in my life until about a year and a half ago and then I became obsessed. I did start buying like the beef jerkies from Costco and then I eat like a little packet of them every day. So good. Also really good protein. I don't know. So the first one is called Jerky Snob, jerkysnob.com. And the second one is called Jerky Gent. Um, I'm not a gent, but I do like jerky. So let's test her out. Based off of box alone, Jerky Gent is beating Jerky Snob. But hey, it's about the taste, right? Okay, here we go. This month's Jerky Picks, Righteous Felon from Westchester, Pennsylvania, a notorious jerky cartel, and one of the original pioneers of the craft jerky industry. Righteous Felon crafts delicious jerky for the unlawful appetite. Oh, the second one is from Chicago. Each flavor of Think Jerky is a unique recipe crafted by a celebrity chef. Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, okay. This one's Truffle O' Bill. So I'm assuming it's truffle flavored, which sounds very interesting. Ooh, I can smell that. So that's how much jerky there is. We're gonna take a taste. Ooh, right off the bat. Mmm. Okay. Honestly, not my favorite. Don't really like how the truffle plays with the turkey. But this is probably a great brand that has really good flavors. I'm just, I don't know if I'm into truffle. Okay. The next one is this sweet made from Matt Troost, who is a farm to table pioneer. This one flavor is sweet chipotle and it has a raspberry on front, which is very interesting. Oh, raspberry juice concentrate. Okay. Packaging is um less exciting than the other one, but I, I it's what it is. Ooh. Mmm. That smells very interesting. Okay, here's the thing. It's a lot thinner and drier. Hmm. This is an honest review, okay? It's not my favorite jerky I've ever had. Okay, and there's only those two. Total ounces is like 4.2 together. Now we're going with Jerky Snob. I'm hoping for better, because that was not impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we have this. It's just literally, oh, oh. Okay, another jerky snob, nice to meet you. I feel like that girl was not paid to be in this photo. So the exact same thing, two jerkies. It's got a little featured artisans. One of them is Lucky Jerky from Holdridge, New England. They under oh Nebraska. And he is Nebraska. <laughs> they understand the taste and quality are essential and are an extension of Nebraska's star beef. They use only the world's best USDA choice Angus and Wagyu beef. As a family owned company, they truly value providing your family with the best jerky possible. That's awesome. Chew on this. A veteran owned business from Corona, California. After 40 years in food manufacturing, Eric and his wife decided to try something different. They started making jerky. Now they owned, now they enjoy sharing their beloved high quality jerky with others to create happy, memorable eating experience. Awesome. So these sound like really small, small brands, which is cool. Net weight is 4.5. So there's more in this one. I honestly don't remember how much they cost. They're, they were about each about $20 for the subscription boxes. 
I think one of them was like 16. Okay, we're gonna try the chew on this. Chew on this one first. This is the packaging. So this is the veteran owned one. And the flavor is just hickory. Ooh. I like the color. Ooh, it smells amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is outstanding. <laughs> really soft. I love the flavors. It's like really powerful flavors, to be honest, but you still get the beefy flavor. And it's not too like, ugh, you know, it, it like bites off, which I like. And it's a good thickness. Really does feel homemade. And it's, oh my gosh, there's a little heat coming in. And it says like, it's their second to their like least heat one. Oh my gosh. Lucky Jerky. The one made in Nebraska. I have a soft spot in my heart for Nebraska. Oh my gosh, it has Nebraska on the back. This looks legit. Like I feel like I could find this in a Nebraska gas station, you know? And the flavor is just original. So they're not they're not doing anything wild with these. Oh, but it's got some stuff on there. Oh, this one has a lot of dehydrated vegetables, garlic, onion, bell pepper, spices, dehydrated orange peel. It's soft, it's meaty, it's really good. Jerky Snob wins by quite a bit. Out of all of them, I think this one was my favorite. It's veteran owned. Honestly, I might keep them both for another round. I was gonna cancel one of the subscriptions, but I might keep them both because this is kind of fun. Um, so anyways, Jerky Snob's the winner. Bye. I hope you enjoyed it.